Hi guys, how are you today? Okay, I have a very important update on the Shanquilla Robinson case. Now, just in case you missed it, Shanquilla Robinson went on vacation to Cabo, Mexico with six of her friends. They all returned back to North Carolina after the vacation without Shanquilla. According to her friends, Shanquilla had passed away of alcohol poisoning. It wasn't until the family got a copy of the autopsy which stated that Shanquilla had a broke neck and a cracked spinal cord with no alcohol in her system. Then a video of what actually happened surfaced on the internet and it went viral. Quilla, can you at least fight back? No. At least something. At least fight back, something. Get up, bro. Get up. Uh -uh. Heartbroken and outraged, the family came forward. Alicia, this happened about two weeks ago. Shanquilla Robinson went to Mexico with her friends. She arrived early on Friday the 28th, and her family says the next morning she was dead. It was supposed to be a fun, long weekend for 25-year-old Shanquilla Robinson and her group of friends who went to Cabo to celebrate one of their birthdays. She told me they had a chef. They was getting ready to eat. They was eating tacos, some salad or something they was eating. And, um... I said, well, okay, I love you, have a good night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. And I never talked to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Selamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. When the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Say that she had been, um, she had a broken neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home, but answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. Here in Charlotte, her family refuses to believe their daughter's death was an accident and they vowed to find the truth of what happened that night in Cabo. She had a heart of gold. She loved everybody, and, and pretty much everybody loved her. An official with the State Department told us they're helping the family obtain reports from authorities and recommend the family hires a private investigator and an attorney if they question the circumstances. Now, as expected, once this went public, the friends went into a panic. There's six of them. There's Winter Donovan, Elise Hyatt, Nazir Wiggins, Khalil Cook, who was her best friend, Dejanae Jackson, and Malik Dyer. One of the friends even went live on social media, declaring that he wasn't even there when this went down. In fact, he came later. Um, she was not feeling good, so I instantly go to her, um, put on her side, get a bag, and all of that. So I'm sitting right next to her the whole time. I was crawling my heart and hope to God. Um, I was there the whole time in the game room, and then they was talking about cooking, so we made it to the living room. Um, I cut on some soft music, sitting with a rubber on the head, just chilling away until the nurse came, because that's what I was informed that was happening. Um, at first, I was told that it was a male coming, and then a female showed up. So, um, by that time, well, well, I skipped another thing. Quilla wasn't found dead. She wasn't found dead. The maids found her slumped over the toilet in her room. That's what they did find her, slumped over her toilet in her room. That's what I was told. Quilla was not dead when I got there. Um, uh, um, yeah, boom. So it's like, okay, so when I get in there... I... Now, the woman on the tape that's alleged to have broke her neck and cracked her spinal cord, her name is Dejanae Jackson of Jamestown, North Carolina. Once the news hit and went public, it's being alleged that Dejanae has skipped town and has went to Connecticut and is going into hiding. 
And as if this story couldn't get any sadder, the honest truth is there's no need for her to go into hiding except for sheer humiliation because legally nothing's going to happen to her. Listen to what this attorney has to say about it. But let's address this from a legal component. Can the friends actually be arrested? Here's the deal. Jurisdiction is very important in this situation. Because the murder occurred in the country of Mexico, the U.S. has no jurisdiction to prosecute these friends, okay? So if they are going to be prosecuted for this murder, it's going to have to come from the country of Mexico. So everyone needs to put the pressure and focus on the Mexican jurisdiction to file a criminal complaint and prosecute these friends, okay? Now, even though legally there's nothing the United States can do, people have started a movement on social media. Hashtag justice for Shanquilla, and they're also hashtagging the FBI in Charlotte. My heart goes out to Shanquilla and her family, and I just pray some kind of justice happens. Hopefully, Mexico will have a change of heart, but as of now, they don't plan on doing anything. And to the so-called friends, shame on you. If I haven't learned anything in my lifetime, the one thing I do know for sure, karma always has a way of rearing its ugly head when you least expect it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And do you think Dejeuner can hide out long enough for this whole situation to pass?